Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna start working on our AI. So with that said, let's go this. Alright, so let's get started. And I wanna start working on our restart before anything. And a restart I need to work on that simple on our clear start over here. And it is simply because uh, all the values that I have over here on restart, the first thing that we're gonna do, as you notice over here in the clean start, and let me come over there macro that comes over here. So this is for the startup code and clears our stack, TIA is all back to zero, which is nice. And set our stack pointer to FF, which is also nice. And here's all the other stuff like decimal mode off, kind of an unnecessary, like says, I'm not just gonna read over it. But it's pretty much just set everything back to zero. So every time we start a game, it sets everything back to zero, and then we populate our values on our memory with the values that we have over here. So uh, that's not going to be good for us, simply because every time I reset, if I I can save the value that I had before, and then come later over here under reset and populate it later, it's always going to be back to zero. So we have to have a way to save the value that you have under or previous reset and keep it like that. So what I did, I went under my macro and created something called clean, instead of clean start, I name it clean restart. So let me come over here and put that over here. So clean start to restart. We're gonna need our, our value that we need to save between all of our restart. So is AI on, so we're gonna need that. So let me assemble, see if it works, perfect. And now let me go over the code. It's pretty much identical, as you see over here. So you have our carries. So you set the, both X and A back to zero. But is AI on is going to be loaded with the Y value since it's not being used. And you can see it better over here. So it's X, A, A, X, X, A. So the Y value is not being used. So I'm going to use the Y value to start our is AI on. And then later on, as you see over here, you're going to start a value into the same memory location and then back to zero. And of course, I'm loading, I'm checking the Y value over here, the previous location. If it is zero, so switch, now the I is on, which is going to be right over here. And if it is one over here, copy to one, comparing the value if it's one, since so it's gonna say AI is off, then it's gonna come right over here. But if I come over here and I turn on my emulator, and if I come under my developer settings, you'll see that all the values start for random value, just like your actual Atari 2600. So every time we first start our emulator, it's gonna be a random value assigned to that memory location. So I have this under our sequence over here. So let's say it's, if it's 40, it's not zero, it's not one, it's always gonna be zero and do the same thing all over again. So you see our code is working perfectly as I ran it before. So now what I wanna do before I start doing for a little bit our AI is just come over here and to illustrate better when the AI is off, I'm just gonna do what I said in the last video. I'm gonna move the player out of the window, our game window at least, and, oh, let me minimize it, and replay them when the AI is on or off. So to do that, let's go over here. And because I have set all the things, all this code under, under my macro, I can delete the code that I had before. So just jump reset, let me save. And right over here, I'm gonna put, uh, Set, set uh, our player one. Let's see. AI is set. Is set. So put player one out of the game window. Something like that. So let's load. Is AI on? Is AI on in branch equals zero to 
skip AI init init uh, position something like that let me let me copy this put it over here so I'm gonna skip this value so we're gonna load a with zero and start that you player one p1x and start that you p1y so over here set layer out of window so have that set and I want to come over here so reset layer position jumps to routine Rep uh, reposition of players so this is being set to zero one more time if it's a uh, reset player positions to zero in case in case AI is on and P1 is out of window. Oh, out of the window. So it's out of the window. If I put this code over here, it's going to return our player back to the game. So let me do that. See if it works. So F1, reset. Okay. As you see, it works, but sometimes I reset and it's not working. And it's not because the code is not working. So let me show you what's happening. Let me go under debug. Come under input and output, come under under reset. So let's look for A. Is AI on under position CA? And as you see, every other frame, I am switching. But since I'm holding this uh, F2 a bit too long, I kind of don't know how it's working. So let me fix that before anything. So let me save this. And I'll come right over here. And it's going to be pretty easy. So all I'm doing is creating some kind of uh, infinite loop, if you will. So here is going to jump over here. It's not pushed. And here we're going to do a loop till reset lever is off. Lever is off. It's a big name. So loop mm. loop to off i think reset off so we'll minimize this okay so let me couple over here oops all the way around my bad And here, actually, no, here it has to be over here, my bad. So go upwards and keep doing this forever. And when it's not set, we're gonna. We are going to reset. So let me try this out, see if it works. So here it is, it works. So I see, it doesn't matter how long I hold. the other way around let me save this one second oops oh all right sorry i just had this bcc um, the branch is wrong so let me try one more time so as you see now it's working I just had the branch set is wrong so so let me go over here. So here it's looking whether or not we push the reset button. And here it's gonna loop uh, forever until we release the lever, reset lever. Reset lever. And here we're jumping to the reset. So all your code is working so far. So let me save this. So I got everything set. So now, 
work the game and it can reset then i know exactly when the code is on and off and just to do a quick demonstration we're not going to do a lot of ai in this video because we are over 10 minutes so let me just come over here and show you quickly how we're gonna work on our ai over here so we want to first let's do movements so um, here we have right movement, left movement, and so forth. And we just want to come over here on our top. What's this? P1 controller. Mm, I guess you come over here. Oh, yep. Yeah. And you're going to load our value. So check if it's AI on. Check if AI is set or on. Is on. Is AI on? You're going to go zero, which is off. To skip, mm, skip to player controller, something like that. So let me cut, copy this over here so it's going to skip the code come down here check the ai is on and and uh, perform and, perf and run it yeah, i don't know check if it's on and run it okay so here it is on if it's not it's going to skip over here so I want to come over here and create a, all this code on our other bank since you have all this extra space over here you're not using. Let's go all the way up. Excuse me. This is the overscan section. And actually, let me just put this part down here, overscan section. Let me just copy this over here and do the same thing. So overscan is going to be our... AI for movement. Okay. Movement. So let me delete this part over here. So we call AI move. So I guess this is good enough. And all we want to do is do a perform bank switch. switch at bank zero and wanna go under B1 actually it's not B1 uh, what I name is kept to no I forgot what I named it let me go back where I was player controller mm, P1 let's say player on controller, something like that. Player one controller, same, eh, same name. I don't think I should name it like that. Let's say resume player control. Just resume controller. I think that's a better name. So resume controller. Put that there, and I'm come over here, and we want to go to resume controller. Oops, should have done that. Let me come over here. Well, I pass my controller one more time. Up, down, left, right. I want to come over here. And I want to do perform bank. Bank switch. A bank one. And this is AI move. I think that's what I call it. Let me come over here and check quickly. Super, oh, bank zero, AI move, yeah, that's what I called it. Let me save. All right, so let me just uh, start to finish this off. And I usually come down here. Let me see if I have it over here. 
and we're just gonna have to add a little bit of code over here which is load a and we're gonna have to load a with our uh, values that we have over here we're gonna use this port over here or switch a and you're gonna use your port zero and one is gonna so that's gonna simulate the AI pressing up down left and right and I have here style menu open so we can have over here to see what it can do so we can you oh that's the keyboard my bad here it is we can go left right up and down so let's say for example I'm going up right so I come over here one two three four then use those so this is going to be upright and store that you are Uh, port data redirect or DDR value over here. Let me save and now let me run this So now it's we follow our code over here if I press F1 as you see our players start running upright already, so that's how you're gonna manipulate our Our AI to move in other stuff and all the other necessary uh, actions that we need and the only thing that uh, since might as well I did this really fast, let me show you something. If I reset the game now, start playing. Now this is supposed to be the player running, but now it's not taking any input. And a quick fix for that. Let's go over our reset area over here. Where is our reset area? So load A of zero and store that you are switching over here because our actual clean restart doesn't go over our ff value so that's actually right here oops it's oh my god let me go back it's w it's on the address 281 so that's clean all the way up to there so just to make sure you yeah, always restart start uh this value of zero now if i were to run it run it as you see now let me do it one more time. Now I can have my player free from all of that. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're probably going to continue off over here under our AI movement or AI move that I had over there. And uh, we're going to build up from that. So uh, if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.